Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, I've had a little delivery, I've taken them um, out of the packaging because I didn't know what they were. Um, this one came in, uh, and I'm, well it's from Amazon, um, I'll put the link down below. It came in a packet with other things, so rather than opening a huge box just to take this out, I've got it separate. Um, and this just came in a little envelope, this is from China. So they're to do with using up spare drills and gems. And these are DIY diamond painting, they're like little sticky squares. Oh, sorry, I've got a lot of glare on there. Is it better down there? Let me take them out of the packet. I think they'll still glare, unfortunately. <laughs> um, just move that out of the way. I think you can see what this is. Um, mystery mosaics, colour by numbers for adults. So we've got one, two, three, I think there should be five here. Yeah, five of these little, uh, like, coaster size mats. And see if I can get that. No, it's not going to show. It might show on my hand. Ooh, sorry, not brilliant picture. Uh, you can see it's got little dots, which are the size of your drills, your gems. Uh -oh, try on the white again. Okay, yeah, that shows up a little bit better. Sorry about the glare. So, yeah, you've got like these little squares, and they're sticky. And it's got your cover on it. Oops, if I can get it off with the no nails. So, yeah, so it's quite a thick plastic now then. I thought that it was going to be on the thicker plastic, which is this side. And it's not, it's this side. So I wonder if this is double-sided. Okay, let me just uh, flatten that back down again. And let me see if I can get the other side off. Bear with me, because this is... Oh, just give it a good... Yeah, so this is, yeah, okay, so this is double sided. So you have a really thin coating of plastic here, which is your cover sheet as you would normally get. I don't know if you can see that. That show up a bit better. Yeah, you can see that a little bit better. Excuse my hands and my nails are disgusting at the minute. Uh, yeah, so you've got your cover sheet there for your top layer and then the bottom layer is the thicker and that's to stick it onto something so you'd use it as a coaster you could put it onto mdf um you can put it onto thick chipboard or thick card or grunge board or whatever but basically it's got your little dots so you could make your own patterns you can do your rainbows your flowers whatever but I just thought they were quite handy to try and they were quite inexpensive. I'll put a link down below to the shop uh, so you can see them. But that's just a set of five. So I thought that's quite handy. I'm going to have a play with those, possibly do some Christmas designs and do some coasters for Christmas. Sorry, there's lots of glare on those. Not the easiest thing to show. Okay. And then, oops, just put that out of the way. The other thing I got. Was this, you know, when you're just browsing Amazon late at night because you can't sleep and you suddenly come across things and it says three millimeter by three millimeter sections, which is more or less the size of your gems. And uh, yeah, it's actually colouring by numbers, um, but it's all little squares. And I thought, well, why couldn't I give this a go with my diamond painting? You can either use squares if I use, if I colour them in and then put round gems on them, then you're not going to see any background through because I think they're not quite the right size for squares. Squares would be just that little bit um, too small. But yeah, you can see there. So I thought I might have a go at this. Now obviously you need to make this sticky. So there's two ways of doing this. Um, I don't know whether I'm allowed to show you the designs, uh, obviously with it being a copyrighted book. Uh, it does give you a few of the designs on the back there. Uh, so they do look a little bit pixelated, but I do think if you coloured the background and then put your gems on top with it raised up, it might not. But you've got 22 colours that you need to complete it, which if you've been keeping your spare gems, um, then I'm sure you'll have most, if not all, of those colours. Uh, so you go from peach, yellow, beige, orange, orange, red, red, brown, brown, dark, brown, pink, scarlet, red, lilac, violet, 
light blue, blue, dark blue, light green, green, dark green, grey, dark grey and black. So you could really use a lot of the spare gems on these. And I think there is, let me just double check. 57 pages in this book. As you can see they've got black background as well, which makes it nice because it means that your design's not going to come through when you're colouring. But I would, if you're using alcohol markers, say, always use something underneath just in case. Um, so, yeah, we go from page 7 to page 55. So let me just see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, different dog breeds in this. Okay, there's no Scotty, unfortunately. Oh, no Scotty dog. But never mind, so we've got 25 dog breeds. So that's 25 make your own diamond paintings. I'll just colour them in if you prefer colouring in. I am going to have a go at this and I will let you see the results. But I thought we'd have a go at doing two different methods of putting your glue on. Now obviously you could do it dot by dot and use your sealer and uh, your little brush. And just put one dot at a time as we've done with the uh, craft buddy stamps just one dot at a time across and then put your gems on because obviously you've got to put them on while the seal is still wet or you can use your magic glue which i thought we'd give it a go because this stays tacky so if we put this on we'll see how it works on actual paper and see where we are and then the other method i'm going to use is i've got a double-sided adhesive sheet so put one sheet down and then it'll just leave a clear sheet and we'll just peel that up. So it's basically like a double sided tape, double sided adhesive. So you stick one side down, which can be quite fun. Doing it on camera is going to be fun. Um, and then the other side, you would just peel it off as you do each part. So let's have a go. Um, what I'm going to do is take the pictures out of the book because I think it's going to make it... Uh, difficult doing it in the book so just bear with me and I'll be back in a second.
Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. So I've actually cut this down a little bit because this was um, an A4 size and these sheets aren't A4, the uh, actual sticker part. So I've cut it down a little bit so that we've got a bit of an edge and I'll just have to put washi tape around. Um, just again, like doing a double-sided tape canvas, basically, I think that's going to turn out like. And then the other one, I've got my craft buddy brushes, um, but I've decided I wanted to use something a little bit bigger for spreading out. So I've got a little bit bigger brush there that I use for uh, painting and for other bits and pieces. Uh, I'm doing a Dalmatian and a German Shepherd, it says in the book. So let's put this sealer on first and see how we go. Let me get my messy mat out if I can find one. So I can keep it on my mat to lift it up. Yeah, that's the right size one. That's an A4 one. Got a few different sizes of these. These are like splodge mats, mess, messy mats that you can craft on and then they just wipe off. So if we've got the glue coming, I think I'll just put a little bit of tape on this as well. If I use a bit of washi, that will just keep it too here and just stop it from moving while I'm putting the tack on it so I've no idea how this will work out so you're uh, watching it as I do it and as you know I do like to have a play um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen oh there's 22 colours so I've got 22 colours on this one Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and put some of the glue on it. Just take the end off there. Okay, oops, get rid of that. Just put sort of an even coat. Just put some, oh, that's gone. It's got a bit of air in it because it's been left a while. So I do love this glue. But yeah, we're basically making our own diamond painting canvas. Now, really, if I'm wanting the colour underneath, I should have coloured this first because I won't be able to colour on top of it but I could use square drills if I wanted uh, but as I say I think the square drills will be too uh, big uh, sorry too small I think they're 2.3 are they 2 points I don't know 2.6 something like that so I'm just going to spread this out I think I've used too much as well look as you can see let's take that across yeah I didn't need anywhere near as much as this it is all experimentation when you're using new products and trying out new things. Uh, what I might do is take some of this off because it's on the brush and I shall put it on to another project to do. Uh, it's buckling the paper a little bit but hopefully it will dry smooth. Uh, let me see what can I put this on. I'm going to put it onto another picture. Okay, so I've got another picture. So that's lesson number one learnt. Look, we've used far too much and it started to buckle the paper. So I'm just going to quickly put it as it does stay tacky. So let me just move those out of the way onto another picture of tape now. So let's just, uh, yeah, that's better. Look, not having as much on. So let's take some of this off, give it a good wipe. So, yeah, well, I'm trying these things out so that when you get around to doing them, you won't have to worry. You will have seen the pitfalls that I've already tried and you will then be able to do it without making the same mistakes as me, hopefully. So, just give this one a good. You see, this one's buckling a little bit, but nowhere near as much as the first one has because there's nowhere near as much moisture come out of the glue because there's nowhere near as much glue on it so that's just giving it a clear opaque covering at least we know it is completely covered okay and once it's dry you can still read everything through as you normally would i'm just going to take that bit of tack off there as well um, no, that's not very good. The washi tape's taking that off. I think it must be because of the 
we will just release that slightly so that as it dries it's not going to stick and then I'll finish that one off but at least I've now not wasted all that glue that I took out there that will get you can feel it starting to go you can hear it starting to go tacky already so we'll leave that one to dry and uh, yeah I think that one will flatten out so if I keep it flat it will flatten out and that one the same now this is going to be the fun one trying to do this on camera okay so I think the best thing to do again I'll put some washi on it and just tape it down so it's not going anywhere because one will move and one won't okay so best thing to do I think will be to do one edge and do it a bit at a time rather than trying to take it all off at once so let's see if this will work and try not to get any bubbles in it Okay, it's not very straight, but I have given myself some leeway because I've cut it slightly bigger. Okay, oops, just move that bag out of the way. There you are. Oh, that's gone on better than I expected. <laughs> okay, so now we have in effect our own double-sided canvas and I've got a nice release sheet there as well that I'll be able to cut up and use on other projects. Keep that, so I never throw anything away. Okay and then this should, if it's stuck down okay, I've now made, yep, yeah, you can see, we've now got our own double-sided adhesive canvas okay this one's got 22 colors as well so yeah i won't pull it all the way off but yeah you can see no bubbles or rivers on this one we've done this one okay so I'll just put that one down on there okay so that's nice and straight and let me take this off now okay I've just suddenly thought of an idea for the uh, piece of cover sheet that I've just taken off. That will now go, once this is dry, onto there. Look, just stop it from getting any muck on it while I'm waiting to work on it. Actually, that's, to be fair, practically dry. So I'll just take that off and I'll leave that there. So there you are. So I hope that's given you a couple of ideas um, on using up some spare drills and a couple of different products. So they do do quite a few of these different books. So it's from Amazon. Um, I think there's patterns and um, oh landscapes and things like that. But obviously I'm a, a dog lover. So I've got the doggy one. But yeah, just giving you a few ideas hopefully. So, once I get working on these, I'll let you know and see how successful they are. Again, really, you should, if you're going to um, put the background in, colour them in first before doing this. But I just wanted to have a play rather than colouring in first and see if it works. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. That is now starting to flatten. Look, you can see it's starting to dry and lovely tack. It's got a square. I wonder if these are white then. Or if you just leave these black. Oh, I see, because it's the Dalmatian then. Ah, right, so you would need to put white drills where the uh, white squares are. Because, uh, yeah, they're not colouring it in white. The paper's already white as well, and that's the Dalmatian. So, yeah, you, you want your Dalmatian black and white, don't you? Okay, so I'll leave that to dry. That's the little squares. Sorry, they don't show up brilliantly, but that's just something else to try as well. Okay, well, that's me done for now until these are all dry and I get doing them. So watch out for the post review of me doing uh, these. So uh, thanks for watching. If you've liked this, please please press that like button that's just sort of down here. 
and that if you want to see the post review when I get it done then if you press the subscribe button you'll be notified when my next videos come out okay that's me done for now thanks for watching I hope to see you all again soon bye for now